right. Are you guys can hear me okay? Uh, yeah, opening remarks, that was a completely different game than Clemson. You know, fair play to Georgetown. They, they really uh, tried to play. So it was those two quite similar teams. Um, they're going to move the ball a little bit. Uh, we had the, I think we struggled with the, the, the first 20 minutes, just trying to get our legs back from, you know, previous games. But once we got into it and we sorted out some things tactically, I thought we were terrific. I thought it was only ever going to be us who were going to win it. Um, and then obviously we, we, we were small with how we put numbers forward when we put them forward. And um, the, the goal was terrifically well worked. One side of the pitch to the other, back to the other, and then back across was uh, was very pleasing. And then, you know, the end, it's, you know, it's going to be throwing crazy numbers forward. They're all skillful. So, um, you know, it was a bit of a slog for the last sort of eight, nine minutes there. But, uh, you know, fair play to the last, it did really well. Yeah, yeah, that's When did you start... When did you start to feel like, you know, your players started getting their feet under them and, and you know, things started to turn in your favor? I'd say about that 15, 20 minute mark, I think, um, you know, they pressed us at the beginning and we were able to play through it. Um, and then when they had the ball, uh, we just weren't quite ready to transition quick enough into the defense. And I thought after about 15, 20 minutes, we figured it out tactically and we also figured it out emotionally um, and, and sort of like physically sort of, okay, we're in a game, let's go, let's go, you know, because it's, you know, in, in these hectic times, I mean, there's not really enough time in between games, so it's really low level intensity stuff. And then they've got to kind of find this, um, they've got to find this new energy, you know, for the, for the next game. And I thought it just took us a little while to kind of ramp up the energy. And then once we did, I thought we're going to be fine. It's going to be great. Thank you. Coach, I asked you the other day when you beat the number one seed, how it felt. It's got to the point now you just defeated the national champion. This is another day at the office for you. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's what we're talking about. It's, this is the no asterisk national uh, championship here for us. It's, uh, you know, we're going to play number one seed. We'll play last year's reigning champs. And then obviously the wake two-story programs, whoever wins the next round. And I'm sure, you know, watching Pitt smash teams, I don't know who's going to win the IU game. It's, there's, there's no bad teams left, you know. So, you know, for us, it, it is just another day. We'll, we'll prepare the same way we, we did, you know. Oh! Prepare, prepare the same way we did uh, but this game and just you know taking our stride and we just gotta we gotta go back together, we gotta regroup, um, you know, emotionally recharge as well because these things take a lot out of you uh, emotionally as well as uh, physically. And so we'll just kinda relax for a couple of days and then we'll get back to it and, and you know, hopefully go all the way. I mean that's the that's the goal. So we wanna be national champs, you know, final four is not good enough. Coach with the guy beside you, did you feel like one goal was gonna be enough to win it? Yeah, he told me before the game it's gonna be a shutout today. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, the, I, I believe you. And your defense played so well, right? Too. Yeah, yeah. The whole the whole team. I think from the you know once we figured out the beginning, sort of getting on our legs, we had the two forwards sort of pressing. Um, you know, we rotated around in the midfield, dropped the number nine in um, to kind of pick up their extra men. They've got a centre back who was coming out of the back line. Um, and it all once we started doing that, it worked really well. The back four tremendous again, and then all the you know safest pair of hands in the country. Ali, how excruciatingly long were the last 20 minutes after the goal? How did it? How long did it seem? I mean, um, I watched at the clock. It was 10 minutes to go. And 20 minutes after, I watched back. It was eight minutes to go. And <laughs> it felt so long. And I think we did a good job. We worked them out. So I think it was a deserved win. Could you describe that last play? I think there was about 40 seconds left. Guy got in and, and, and you made the save. Could you describe that play a little bit? Uh, yeah, I think they played a one-two on the sides, and they crossed it in on the second post. And um, yeah, it's tough. Let's, uh, it's the last minute. Everybody is kind of dead. And then I think he got in front of our left back, and then then he headed it towards me, and it was it was easy save because it was right to me. Thank you, Ali. Can you talk about the significance of the College Cup making history for this program? I, I know Coach Grassy's addressed it, but what's it like for you players to realize every step you take is is a milestone. Oh, yeah, I mean, our goal is to win a national championship. So it's not a surprise for us. Um, we want to go far. And I think we already went far. But we're not done yet. So we still want to go and we want to win the, the title. Coach, can you, can you walk me through the, the goal, the run that Vitor made and able to pull it back? It seemed like that was just a, a really impressive move by him to get the ball to Jamil on that. Yeah, you might have noticed. Yeah, Vito's pretty skillful. Um, yeah, <laughs> he just 
got this nice little way of he, he shows the defender the ball a little bit, then he drops his shoulder and then he just kind of runs. It looks like he's running really slowly, but the defender can't keep up with him and he's just flicked it over the top. And so, you know, lovely play. I mean, I think it started, you know, back on our right, went all the way to our left, came back diagonally across. We had some nice little movement in there and then it, you know, it tastes a little bit of special um, dribbling and then it went over the top and I think got a flick on and then Jamil was a was at the back post to tap it in, which is, we love tap-ins, you know. Hey, coach, as that play developed, did, did you realize that this could be a good, <laughs> the, the best scoring change you've had all day as you kind of watched Jamil go there and then, or Vitor go over there, then Jamil go to the other side. You're like, oh, this could be it as you kind of watch that play develop. Yeah, you know, there's a couple that we just didn't quite execute on um, all the way through, but it, it was just, it's like a numbers game, right? So, like, where are we passing the ball? Are we, are we open? Are we playing into a crowded area? Okay, what are we committing forward? What are we not committing forward? And I think our guys had a perfect balance. So we knew it was always going to be tight because neither team was going to sort of go counter-attack style up and down the pitch. I think it was going to always be a, a tactical battle. As much as anything, I thought our guys were terrific. And then once we got in, we knew it was ha- we knew it would happen. Talk to it in the halftime. We're going to get two, three good chances. Um, we just got to make sure we're doing it the right way, that we commit the right numbers at the right time. And, uh, yes, you know, Terrifically well executed. Yes, sir. No, it's Coach, Chris, can you um, talk about what uh, what they were talking during the broadcast about the football guys helping out the football guys this week? You got Randy Moss and Chad Pennington getting involved somehow? Oh, yeah, yeah from on the street. Uh, from on the street. Oh, hold, yeah, hold on, let me decline this. We're back. We're back. Yeah. You know, yes. that's the room. A little birdie told me that uh, they would be coming down to give a speech for the final four. So I just, I might have, I might have said that out loud. Coach, uh, how do you approach the broadcast? Was the fact that uh, Georgetown substituted a lot and you didn't? Um, was there any urge at any point to maybe try to match them substitution for substitution? You're pretty solid on your guys. Yeah, you know it's. It, it's Tactically, we have some good good players on the bench. But, you know, I'm not really a coach who's going to rotate in just for the sake of rotating. I think if my guys tell me they're fresh and they can do it, they can do it. You know, we pick the team. We work on the tactics for a reason. I think sometimes we'll sub tactically, like if we've really been beaten up sort of on the outside um, of their team, maybe we'll bring somebody who's going to go to the inside, maybe some sort of a little bit of uh, rope adult substitutions. But in terms of subbing for sub six, match energy, no. Uh, if all guys are happy, but then, then we're going to stay with the group that we've got. Coach, how do you handle uh, the semifinal? It'll be the first time you guys are on national television, ESPNU, big exposure for this program. How do you try to keep you guys calm, like, in the next couple of days before a nationally televised game? You know, I think our guys will be disappointed, you know, because they like it when uh, international uh, parents can get a feed. So national TV isn't really a big deal for us. You know, we play for the Herd Nation. We've got the amazing support. Those guys are supporting us all the time. So it doesn't matter that we're on TV for everybody else to watch. We play for ourselves. We play for our families. We play for our fans. So national TV, not a, not a big deal. Obviously, it's a huge occasion, you know, the, the semifinal. But it's a semifinal, you know. Nobody remembers the semifinalists. Good. We are good. good. I think that's it. Congrats, Coach. Yep. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Thank you guys, Holly. Congratulations, Alex. Good job, guys. Thank you.